welcome back. Just three games to go in Group A here on Wednesday at the Live League. And Gary Stone is likely to book his place at finals night in this one. Yep, that man, the Scottish slinger, needs just one leg to be assured of that first place finish. A 4-0 defeat would make things a mathematical nightmare well, for us, Steve but potentially to interesting first. because Adams would Game then on. need a 4-0 win. Sixty. Even in that scenario, we'd have to go down to the next set of things like legs one and averages. I'll be honest, not enough time in the turnaround to work all that out. But we do know that if Gary Stone wins a single leg, then he will secure top spot oh, and therefore sick. book his place at finals night. There is a bit of a... One a practice room banter about the race at the bottom half of the table with Steve Brown, Andy Jenkins and Robert Rickwood all on four points. All hoping to win their final 100. match to soar into fourth place rather than last. Steve Brown with a tougher task One based on what we've witnessed so far today because Stone has been superb. And that leg that he needs might be about to come immediately. 60. Gary Rickwood, 87. Ah, oh, wonderful. Game what a leg! And it leg. is the leg that Gary sees Stone. Stone seal his spot at finals night. Gary Stone is there, and it's an 11 data that gets the job done. So like it's Gary to throw first. Well, didn't have to wait long, so we now know that Stone is through to finals night. 100. Martin Adams. And Jared Curl will compete in Group B. Live here on Sporty Stuff TV from 10pm on Thursday and Friday evenings. And Steve Brown, oh, along sick. with Andy Jenkins and Robert Rickwood, will be back tomorrow morning at 9.30. Again, brought to you live here on One Sporty Stuff TV. 180. In Group C. Along with Johnny Haynes, Matthew Edgar and Steve Haggerty. Well, Dan no, Reed, Graham Usher and Justin Smith will join Adams and Cole in Group B tomorrow night. Gary Stone has produced some of his best ever stuff today. 140. And he's threatening to go even better because this could be, it could be a second successive 11 dart 45. Leg. Gary require 81. Wow. Wow. Games wow, wow, leg. wow. Two Gary legs Stone. completed in 11 darts apiece. And Gary Stone here is running riot and threatening to They're produce to Steve to throw something first. incredible. Something rather special. The average there, look at that, 136.64 after taking 60. just 22 darts to get through two legs. The highest average we've ever seen. One the live league at the end of a match is 118.44. That was by Jason Askew back in phase one of last year when he beat Aaron Monk. Aye, two, one. The highest average. Aye, two, one. Ever recorded in any broadcast match is a hundred. And 23.5. And that was by Peter Wright. 100. At a Players' Championship event in 2019. The highest average ever recorded anywhere. 100. 127. And that was by Jose de Sosa. You know. Players' Championship event away from the live stream. 50. Last year. Steve, you require 120. Gary Stone has dropped to a mere 117.62 here. Useless, isn't he? Terrible. Six. Put it right, Gary. Gary require Take out the 170. Not to be. 96. Steve, you require 60. Or 
double ten for Steve Brown to get a leg on the board. Game shot on the third. Steve the avalanche Brown. of excellence from Gary Stone at the start of this match. Steve Brown has managed to notch up a leg and halve the deficit in the game. Well, I think it's Gary to throw first. One hundred and forty. His own personal best, by the way, is that one hundred one point nine two that he had a couple of games ago against Andy Jenkins. One hundred and forty. Likely to obliterate that if he does go on and win the next couple of legs. One hundred. But the problem when you start with two eleven darters is that you're only really going to get worse. Keep you in the loop about the statistics, though. 25. If he does post a high average he's currently running at what would be the fourth highest average in live league history but in this short format it can change one. so much visit by visit for example that visit would have seen him go from fourth to sixth 45 nice of him to do it when there's nothing more to play for as well because it Gives us a bit more to talk about, doesn't it? He only needed the one leg to assure his qualification. He got that with that brilliant 11 dart start. Backed it up with another one. Steve Brown cut the gap. 60. Well, there was a determination from Stone to stay there. I think that maybe Bullseye was a potential route. 68. Gary require 120. But nay bother. As the Scots say. One hundred. And this Scott has said a lot about the way he can play today. He's been absolutely superb. 42. Gary required 20. Game shot on the fourth. He leads 3-1 in this Stone. one. Brilliant stuff from Gary Stone. The average 109.25 at the moment. Looking likely to obliterate his personal best. Look at Steve and to looking throw likely to obliterate Steve Brown. In their last Group A match. In the absence of a co-commentator, you know, I do all the punditry myself here at the Live League. And maybe it's time to give myself a pat on the back. Because I did predict, rewind the tape, the start of yesterday, that Gary Stone was the man. The, the one likely to top this group. And it looks like he's going to do it for the loss of just hey, one T3. match. That defeat to Martin Adams yesterday. 140. Since then, he's embarked on a winning run. 96. Six matches today, which looks set to become six matches, including the four he's won today, which looks set to become 140. seven in total. As he looks to bookend the game with 11 dart legs. Imagine, imagine. Winning four legs and three of them. 84. 11 darts. It could happen if he can repeat the 81 checkout, which he might on double 12. Well, it doesn't will do. It man. is sublime Gary from Stone. Gary Stone, who produces his best ever performance in any darts match. 112 average. That's 11 points higher than anything he's ever produced before. Four out of five on the doubles. Two 11 darters and a 12. And that kind of performance is why he has secured his spot at finals night as the winner of Group A, losing only one match in the process. So that is an absolutely sensational showing from Stone. Just look at those numbers. 112.2. Absolutely brilliant. 80% checkout. Just can't stop reading it. It's superb. And you might be seeing it again. We'll see this match is posted in full on our YouTube channel. But we've got two more full matches to bring you on Sporty Stuff TV before the end of the day. The first of them is Andy Jenkins against Martin Adams. And it is coming up in just a few moments time.